Well, I tell y'all, this heat is something else. It is very hot, very hot. And uh, as, I, as I was getting ready to leave, the Lord laid it on my heart to just do this video before I leave about this heat. Uh, I'm telling you, it's killing folks. And if you don't have to go nowhere, try your best not to go nowhere because it's tearing up these vehicles. It's tearing up these bodies. People are dying left and right behind this heat. And some people getting out here thinking it's a joke. I seen the brothers going down the street earlier, man, with they 40 ounce bottles of bird in their hand, walking in the heat, passing out. Passing out. If you don't really have to, if you if you can prevent from getting out here in this heat, try your best to prevent from going in it because I have seen a million cars land on the side of the road. I have seen people bodies laying on the side of the road with the paramedics. People are falling out, people are dying. And your air conditioned units in your house and your vehicle, it's very hard on these air conditioned units right now, especially if you got central air. Oh, man, I, I, boy, I look like everybody I know, central air unit is down. It is so hot, it's scorching outside. And these units got a press, look like 15 times harder. And the thermostats are steady messing up. I seen people uh, on, on Papa JT in them street yesterday and on my end taking their air conditions out of the window. Some of them good, some of them bad. Somebody out there trying to spray them down. And if you don't have to get in this heat, man, don't get in it. Electric bills are sky high. And it seems like it don't matter how hard you run your air, it's still not going to cool off. Because it's, hey, we know it hasn't been like this since 1980. These triple digits every day. Every day of the week, this ain't no joke. And I know somebody ain't gonna like this video because I'm I'm finna tie it in with the Lord. Hey, hey, the Lord knows what the Lord is doing. Whether you like the Lord or not, you're gonna find out. Every knee shall bow and every tongue must confess that he is Lord. The victory is already won, whether you want to believe it or not. And people and scientists are steady trying to figure out why, what, why is it going like this? Why is everything happening? Well, it's in the Bible. And people still don't believe in the word of God. When you line it up with life right now, I guarantee you, if you just try to look at the word of God, you'll see some truth in what JT is saying because it's happening just like the prophets laid it out, just like Jesus laid it out. The Bible is not a liar. And people are angry with the Lord right now. Because they want the sun to go away. I heard people blaspheming, cursing at God, calling them all kind of names. And you better be very careful. Because that blaspheming, you might not wake up. I'm just being real. And when you read Revelation, when you look at those angels, when you look at that angel that's going to pour that bowl over the sun for the disobedient people, this ain't got nothing on that people. Scorching them. And here's the key. They ain't even going to die from it. They still got a chance to repent. But what they do, they steady, they steady blaspheme and cuss God. We have a loving God. I know people can't see it through what I just said. But when you want to continue to be disobedient, there is a place for you. But if you want to remain humble and follow the will of the Father and do the Lord's will, there is a place for you also. That's way better. And torture. You don't want to wind up in the lake of fire. You shouldn't want to go because it wasn't created for you. That's Satan home and his fallen angels. Remember, Satan was the most beautiful angel there was, the most greatest creation who once was with God. But we know that we know the end of that story. So be careful, people. Don't take life for a joke. Don't take life for a joke and don't take God for a joke. And I know that's a million people, they tired of hearing me talking about God, but like I always say, I'm going to be just like Moses. I'm going to keep proclaiming this word until I die. And if I die, let me die in the name of the Lord, doing the Lord's will. I don't want to die doing the devil's work. I want to die doing the Lord's will. So if you can, try your best to stay out of this heat. I was looking at some of the stuff on, uh, remember that, a few years back when the, when the students in high school was having football practice. 
Young man died right out there in that heat, man. Eight people, our body can only take so much. So try your best to do all you can to stay stay in the house if you need to. And it's even hot as hell in the houses. So try your best to stay. Let me say that right. It's even hotter than a lake of fire. I ain't. I'm just joking. It's hot, people. Let me just say it like that. It is hot. Because I don't want nobody to get the wrong idea of what I just said. When I talk about hell, I refer hell as the grave. So I don't mean to say hot like that. I mean to say the lake of fire is the hot, hot burning place. So hope everybody's doing well. And let's uplift each other like I was just saying in the other video. Because especially our seniors, the, the older folks who don't even want to, you know, they don't even want to cut their arm on and they sitting there dying in their own house. If you can go get a box fan or a window unit for somebody, do it. Try your best to do it and help somebody because everybody don't have money. Some of these folks dying behind this in their own home. So God bless you. God keep you.